What it do, friends and family. You now tuned to another video from Mr. Lewis TV. Man, I'm chuckling right now, man. Two days ago, man, Keith Thurman took to the internet, man. He was straight trash talking, man. He packed it out saying, man, he'll end his career. Keith Thurman, really? You gonna end this man's career? How you plan on ending his career, man, when you damn near lost your fight? See, this is the thing. All these young bucks, all of a sudden, is coming at Pacquiao because this is the man to beat right now in boxing. You know, Keith Thurman, it's really not wise, man, to talk trash to Manny Pacquiao. You see what happened to Adrian Broner when he talked trash to him. Broner was talking mad trash to Pac-Man. And what'd he do? Beat his ass. So now Thurman, I guess you got balls now. You want to trash talk Manny Pacquiao, man? This is an OG. He was boxing, man, while you was sucking on your mama's titty. But you gonna flat out say that you gonna end his career? You gonna retire him? Please. Thurman, you was gone for 22 months, bro. 22 months, bro, you was gone. That's almost two years you was gone out the boxing ring. And now you come, you say this is your big comeback. And you want to trash talk Manny Pacquiao? I don't understand what's going on with these boxers, man, that want to come at Manny Pacquiao, man. You know, if I was Manny Pacquiao, man, I would compile a, a hit list. You know what I'm saying? I would compile a hit list. And I will box and beat everybody's ass that's coming for me. Because you got to understand something. Pacquiao, man, he's doing his thing. He's chilling. He's not really worrying about nothing. He ain't worrying about nothing. You understand what I'm saying? He's not worrying about a thing. But it's you poses out there. That's constantly calling out Manny Pacquiao. So, Keith Thurman, do you really want them hands from Pacquiao? Really? Ask yourself, Thurman. I mean, for real now. Come on, Keith. Come on, Keith. Now, man to man. Come on, Keith. Man to man. Do you really want those hands from Pacquiao? And he had the flu when he beat Broner. Imagine if he was healthy at 100%. Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman. Bruh, I think you should just stick to Little Leagues. Understand, you know, times was hard. And you're trying to get paid. And maybe this is your payday. To get paid from Pacquiao. But you're not worth a fight from Pacquiao. Here you damn near lost to Josito. For real, Thurman? For real, Thurman. Ask yourself, Thurman. Now, you and your team, y'all get together, man. Y'all have a huddle. And y'all need to figure this out. For real. Y'all really need to figure this out. Because right now, man, I think Pacquiao, man, he... Hey, Pacquiao is knocking motherfuckers out. And you really want this? Why would you say that? Keith Thurman, why would you say that you will retire him? And you damn near lost your fight. Did you see your face? Your face was busted up. Bloody. Pussy. 
He beat your ass, man. Thurman. Man, look here, man. I don't know what, man. Look, look here. I don't know what's going on in your team and your camp. But your, your trainers, they got your ass gassed up, man. If you think you're going to get in that ring with Pacquiao, man, and retire him, you're going to retire his career. Understand, Thurman. I, I mean, truly, I understand. You've been gone for two years. I mean, 22 months, man. That's a long time. That's a long time, man. Keith Thurman, why was you gone for 22 months? The world still wants to know, why was you gone that long? To be gone that long and come back and have a, I'm not going to say it was a great fight. It was a fight. Yes, it was a fight, but it wasn't a great fight. But for you to be gone that long and then come back and say you're going to retire Pacquiao? Are you serious? This man is an OG. You understand what I'm saying? You a young buck. You was a young buck. And I get it. Your trainers gassing you up. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for the head honcho. The head honcho right now is Pacquiao. Okay, so it's evident that's what you're going to do. You're going to call this man now until he give you a fight. But you're not worth a fight for Manny Pacquiao. You have a better chance of fighting a little nigga on the street. Straight up. So, Keith Thurman, I'm going to need you, man, to stop running your mouth, man. Serious. Quit running your mouth. Quit trash talking. The same thing happened to Adrian Broner when he trash talked him. Adrian Broner, yeah, I'm going to get in the ring. I'm going to beat his ass. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. What happened? Pacquiao beat the shit out of him. And now here you go. Running your mouth. Mr. Keith Thurman. So Pacquiao. Manny. Pac-Man Pacquiao. I'm going to need for you. And your trainers. To get together. Y'all get together man. Make this fight happen. Silence this critic. Silence him. Beat his ass, Pacquiao. Because he's just trying to jump on a bandwagon, man, to get some money. He's been gone for 22 months. 22 months he's been gone. That's almost two years, Keith Thurman. You've been out the ring. And if it wasn't for the judges judging in your favor, you wouldn't have won that fight. Because I seen the fight. Oh, yeah, I seen the fight. And old boy put those hands on you, man, straight up. He beat your ass something terrible. You might have got a couple good little rounds in, you know, maybe like three or four rounds. But the the rest of the rounds was to the other boxer. You know this, Keith Thurman. You don't want to admit it. You know this. So the only way to deflect what you really know is, oh, I'm going to call out Pacquiao. Oh, hey, I'll fight him in Vegas. I'll fight him in the Philippines. You want to fight this man in the Philippines? Are you serious? The Philippines, Keith Thurman. Are you really even worthy to have a fucking fight at Madison Square Garden? Keith Thurman, I'm going to need you, man, to just shut up. For real. I'm going to need you to shut up, man. And focus on somebody that you know that you can beat. Because pound for pound, I really think you cannot beat Pacquiao. But this will be a very, <laughs> this will be a very entertaining fight. Man, I'm chuckling. I'm really chuckling, man. You know, because I came across this link and I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow. He actually said that 
He wants to retire him. Wow. It's so much hate going on in his world. But Keith Thurman, you're going to learn today. You're going to learn today to respect your elders. And if Pacquiao grant you this fight, I hope. I hope he beat the holy shit out of you for running your mouth. All this talk been going on from all these boxers want to step up to the plate. Now, one time has anyone heard any trash talk from Pacquiao? You know why? Because he's classy. He's classy like that. You know what I'm saying? He's classy. Because Keith Thurman, I really think, man, you in deep waters with this, man. And I'm pretty sure Pacquiao is paying attention to all the blogs, the videos. He human like just like me and you. You trash talking. You calling this man out. That's not good. But we'll see. Like, comment, subscribe to this video. Subscribe to my channel, man. I got some heat. I got some heat. Mr. Lewis TV has some heat. You just got to subscribe, man, to this channel. We got some heat over here. You know, I'm a one-man show. But we got some serious heat going on right now in this boxing community. This boxing community, man, is like, it's blowing the F up. You know what I'm saying? All because of that Adrian Broner fight. Everybody wants Pacquiao. But Pac-Man, I'm with you. If you get this fight, do Mr. Lewis a favor. Beat his ass. Beat his ass good. Send his ass back into another 22-month layoff. He deserved that. He's trash. He's trash. Pacquiao, you got a better chance, man. A better fight, fighting Earl Spence. That's the fight I would like to see. I would like to see Earl Spence and Pacquiao go for it. Earl Spence is hungry right now. He's a dog. Junkyard dog. He's hungry. Boxing skills. Switch. A switch boxer. He can hit you with a right. Hit you with a left. And what I like about Earl Spence is he talk his trash, but he bags it up. That's something that Adrian Broner didn't do. Oh, yeah, I'm calling him down. We had Jeff Horn called out Pacquiao talking trash. Now we got Keith Thurman. That's three washed up ass boxers that need to stay in their lane. I'm an OG myself. And I feel like if a young buck call on an OG, you have to represent. So Pacquiao, I know there's a lot of videos out there. But if you happen to come across this video for Mr. Lewis TV, make this fight. Make this fight, Pacquiao. Beat his ass. Beat his ass like his mama should have beat his ass. 
all those years ago. Because there's a lesson that needs to be taught. Apparently, he haven't learned this lesson yet. So being the true OG that you are, Pacquiao, you have to show him. Just show him. Just flat out show him what time it is. You an OG. You've been doing this shit a long time. Knocking motherfuckers out. So, it's only fair that you put another knockout under your belt. Hey, don't get mad at me. Your boy keep thumbing me the video. He came out and said that he wants to retire Pacquiao. And that what prompted me to make this video. And I was trying to stay away from all the boxing talk, all the boxing news. But it's blowing up now. Pacquiao, you the man. You the man, Pac-Man. It's an X on your back. So, compile your list, get your list together, and figure out who is going to be your last fight. Because your last fight is coming. You can't be boxing forever. But make sure your last fight is a worthy opponent. Keep Thurman is not a worthy opponent. 